Hi, this is Santa Mayor Miguel Polito, and I want to talk to you about the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. It's really challenging our community. It is so hard to stay at home, financial hardship, the governor's uh, uh, ordinance that's out. We're working very, very hard, but I know it's very difficult for you all. So please join myself, my fellow council members, as we ask you to stay strong, stay at home, stay the course until this is over. In the meantime, I'm telling you that here in Santa Ana, we're working very hard to not only balance the budget, keep the city going, but really to get control of the virus. Because that's why you're at home, to get control of the virus. We're gonna get control of the virus. I believe we're gonna do it soon. And we're gonna go back to the beautiful Santa Ana that we all know and love so very much. We're gonna move beyond this crisis. On March 17th, the City Council declared a local emergency that authorized our City Manager to take important steps to protect the community. Evictions, foreclosures, and rent increases for those affected by COVID-19 are illegal during the state of emergency. We stopped water and sewer shutoffs and waived late fees for those utility bills. We temporarily stopped issuing street sweeping parking tickets and waived late fees for parking violations. The local emergency also protects consumers against price gouging. For our business community, the moratorium on evictions and foreclosures applies to commercial properties. We waived late fees and penalties for the annual business license tax. Additionally, we made it easier for local businesses to qualify for our small business incentive program. That program provides grants of up to $5,000 to qualified businesses with five or fewer employees. And we will continue to share information about federal loans and other resources that can help local businesses. In addition to providing financial protections for our residents, we've also have taken actions to protect our public health. Uh, we started early by closing City Hall. I, I am here at, at City Hall, but it's closed to the public. Uh, we've also have closed our community centers, our libraries, and the zoo. Uh, you can still call in for many uh, key services, particularly public safety services, uh, but do know that our city facilities are largely physically close to the public. Uh, with respect to parks, and we have many families and young children in Santa Ana, uh, we want to encourage passive activities like walking and jogging, you know, obviously with at least six feet separation from one another and wear masks uh, when, when possible, but we don't want individuals gathering at our parks. We also don't want them um, playing with the equipment uh, or doing other things that are going to hurt the public health of others. Uh, so when possible, please stay home, stay safe. We're one community and we will get through this. Those guidelines aren't just for the parks either. Whenever you leave home, it's important to take precautions to protect yourself and others against COVID-19. Maintain safe distancing by staying at least six feet from others. Wear a mask or scarf over your nose and mouth. Wash your hands frequently and sanitize surfaces in your home. And for essential businesses that are still operating, they should have their employees do the same. Our city employees are also taking these precautions while continuing to provide essential services to you. Even though our buildings are closed to the public, many of our dedicated workers are still on the job. Police and fire emergency services continue to operate normally. Street repairs, graffiti removal, and tree trimming are among the regular services that remain in place. If you call City Hall, staff will be here to answer. Some of these city services have become even more important to our residents during this crisis. The Santa Ana Work Center remains open by phone or email to help the public apply for unemployment benefits and get job resources. The Santa Ana Senior Center is providing to-go meals to our senior community on Tuesdays and Thursdays. City staff is coordinating with nonprofit groups to facilitate free food distributions to help those in need. And our website has other helpful information for workers and businesses. As you can see, the City Council, our city staff, and I are working hard to do everything we can for the community during this pandemic. We have activated our Emergency Operations Center so that we are able to respond quickly to any problems that arise. Our city departments are adapting daily to this changing situation so that we can continue to provide you with essential services you expect. We are also working with other local, state, and federal officials to get Santa Ana the resources it needs. For more information and updates about COVID-19 from the City of Santa Ana, 
please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Sign up at nixel.com to receive email and text alerts. Download the My Santa Ana app. Also, go to www.santaana.org backslash COVID-19. Together, we will get through this.